What's up, YouTube? I'm Mr. No Name, or Max, as people know me in the real world, and today I'm bringing you a brand new gameplay on Express S and D. This is actually a scrim match. It was one of the maps. Um, so yeah, it's pretty good gameplay. Hope you guys enjoy it in the background there. So today I'm going to be talking about Call of Duty Ghost, and I'm going to be talking about the new squads mode. There's actually several different modes, but first of all, what is squads? Squads is a new game mode where the player can play with AI teammates or their friends against other AI. Um, any XP earned will be shared between multiplayer and squads. So, in within squads, you're going to use job, your soldiers that you've built. Now, I will be talking in another video about uh, character and class customization. And you're going to use those custom soldiers to make up your squad. You can have up to 10 soldiers, and up to 6 of them can be on your squad. Switching sides. And what? And in any if you have your friends, they replace one of those squad members. And it replaces from the bottom up, so you can select which ones would be rotated out first. Bomb acquired. Um, and each soldier can have up to 3 classes off the get-go. However you can unlock three more classes for each soldier as well as you progress. So there are actually um, several game modes that are listed under squads. The first one is squad versus squad and involves two opposing players um, versing in a 1v1 setting however with squad members filling in the rest of the team making it a 6 versus 6 game. Um, that seems Kind of interesting. I don't know how it's going to work out. We'll have to see. Um, next one is War Game. The player and five other squad members versus a team of six opposing bots in a mode set to replicate the full MLG experience. Um, I'm not so sure about this. I don't know. We'll have to see. That's I'm, I'm kind of skeptical of that. Uh, by the way, if you guys didn't know, the AI system is supposed to be improved a lot. They're supposed to act like real players. They're supposed to drop shot, jump shot, corner camp, all that fun stuff. So, you know, maybe if it can be bumped up high enough, it could replicate MLG. I'm just not so sure on that. I'm not completely sold there, but we will have to see. Uh, the next one is Safeguard, which is where the player and up to three other players take part in a match based on survival in MW3. So it's a lot like that. Um, it has, it, it, it'll include perks, score streaks, and only 20 rounds. So I think this is something nice for those of us who don't want to spend 20 hours in a survival game because it can take that long if you know what you're doing. It, you can get up in those massively high rounds and it just gets boring. Uh, the next one is uh, Safeguard Extended. And in this one, it has 40 rounds, and it's the same idea as the regular Safeguard. And then the next one is Safeguard Infinite, and this is the same settings ex as pr the previous Safeguard set um, match types. However, there is no cap on the waves. The uh, there's a limitless amount of waves, so like it was in MW3, where you can just keep going forever. Um... The last game mode is Squad Assault, and this is where a, pl a player and up to five other players or squad members uh, verse off against a squad consisting of another player's squad. So this is when that player is uh, completely away, they're not playing in the game at all, and how this works is the player who's defending picks the map and the game type that you will be playing on, and so they can have custom... You know, their soldiers should be customly tailored to do the best possible on that map. And so, you know, I mean, it may or may not work out. So, that's all I have for you guys on that. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that information on squads. Uh, last couple things real quick. This is being recorded on my brand new mic. Yay. Hopefully it sounds really good. Um, another thing is that... I'm pretty sure that sponsorship that I talked about in my last video is going to be working out. Just got to finalize a couple more things. Hopefully everything will be settled by Thursday when I put up my throwback video so that 
Um, I can have a really nice gameplay and I can talk about it and have it up on their channel. Uh, we'll have to see if that works out. But anyway, as you guys can see, we're coming to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please like, comment, and or subscribe. If you didn't, then let me know what I can do better in the comment section below. Constructive criticism goes a long way, guys. Until next time, everyone, peace out.